Welcome to beautiful eastern Utah, where today we're looking for dinosaur bones. We don't know that much about this kind of stuff, but thankfully we have Dr. Brooks Britt and his research team here to help us out. Though geology majors spend their fair share of time in the lab, you'll often find them getting up close and personal with Mother Nature, and those who choose paleontology for their emphasis know all about the skeletons in her closet. While Natalie got right to work with the research team, Jake and I talked shop with Dr. Britt. So, two paleontologists and geologists were, were out here searching for tracks, basically, for tracks and for looking for oasis type deposits. And they came across on this sandstone, on the surface they could see some little white bones, uh, just white little marks it looked like, and of course they recognized them as bones. And so then we come out with the uh, with air power tools, pneumatic tools. And it depends on what quarry in, we'll use uh, high explosives, we'll use large bulldozers, D9s, whatever wow. it takes to get the, the rock, because you've got a lot of rock over top the bone sometimes, mm -hmm. you want to get down to the specific bone layer. Mm -hmm. So you can either blast it off, use bulldozers, or do it by hand, or use big jackhammers. Once you get down close to the bones, you go down to smaller and smaller pneumatic tools. Mm -hmm. And you know, in Jurassic Park, they're always brushing things off. They've got a brush and a needle, mm. and that rarely happens. Mm -hmm. So you work around, expose the bone, get it up onto a pedestal that you extract, you get around like this. Finally, you can split underneath it and take that bone off, take it back to the lab. Once we're in the lab, we use needles under a microscope on these bones, because they're so small. And uh, so in the lab, then we can extract these things, get them out completely out of the rock, and then we're, they're ready for study and for display. Talking about paleontology is great, but we came out here to get some hands-on experience, so Jake and I made arrangements to do just that. How's it going? It's going good. What's good. your name? I'm Braden. Braden, I'm Steve. This is Jake from the hands-on team. What do you got there for us? This is a zip gun. This is one of the main tools we as paleontologists use to get dinosaur bones out of rock. What do we need to do to use the zip gun correctly? Because I don't want to I don't want to mess anything up. To use a zip gun, it's just an air hammer. You go and you're going to just come into the rock at a horizontal angle. Ideally you'll pry the rock up uh, in layers and under those layers is where you can hopefully find the bone. And the other thing you'll want to do is wear glasses. I have a pair with me here. Great. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of sand in your eyes, and your day will be a lot less fun. That would be no good. We don't want that. So I will put the glasses on. No. I'd probably just step back a little bit. All right, doing will that. Will be safe back there? We oh, don't yeah. want Jake to get hurt. Okay. All right. So just get down here. Does this angle look OK? Yeah, that's just fine. All right, I'm a little nervous, but I'll do what <laughs> I can here. Holy cow. Am I doing it right? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like a handheld jackhammer? Um, try spacing your zip a few inches more apart. Okay. That way, if you run it too close, if you find a bone, you're going to just keep hitting it. OK. Want to try, Jake? Yeah, yes, I do. It's pretty fun. Students like Braden encounter a multitude of careers in diverse fields after graduation. That's because geological scientists play an integral role in navigating the relationship between man and earth, guiding both the use and protection of natural resources ranging from fossil fuels to groundwater. And of course, for those who want to follow their childhood dreams of discovering dinosaurs, there are plenty of bones left to dig. Hands On is a production of the College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences at Brigham Young University. To get your hands on more information, visit cpms.byu.edu. Mm -hmm.